What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today I am bringing you a squad builder around the first in form for Atlanta United, uh, Josef Alexander Martinez. Obviously they've only just really come together as a team uh, into this first season of the MLS which started about a month ago I think it started a few weeks ago um, and he's the first in form they've been given. He was actually the only card that they had up until I think Saturday, uh, I'm recording this Sunday, built a team before any other, you know, Atlanta player was made and he was the only player when he got, when he got hat trick, I think it was, uh, in the, and he got put into the team of the week. Team we're going for is a 4-4-1-1 and in goal we do go for the man of the match, Tim Krull for AZ Alkmaar, uh, 83 diving, 85 reflexes, 81 handling and 81 positioning, 6 foot 4, couldn't side on this guy he was one day he like one game he was amazing and he was making saves after saves next game he let six goals in and i was just fuming at him um as you can see he does go for his minimum but i believe he's actually jumped up a little bit now so he's about 20k so he's still not crazy expensive for you know for what he is and he discards I, if i was to discard him i'd lose 60 coins you know so not too bad at right back we do go for a um a low rate to 77 right we go for shellotto from um a sport in lisbon and at left back we go for a silver from the turkish league and his name is uh tazdemir i think is how you would pronounce that it's at 85 pace 74 dribbling 65 passing 66 defending five foot seven high medium work rates honestly he disappeared throughout every single game i didn't know where the hell he went but i just did not notice him whatsoever Right back, we have Ezequiel Shalotto, uh, 81 pace, 73 dribbling, 74 defending, and 82 physical. Six foot two, high medium work rates, three star weak foot, and three star skill moves. Actually, a really good, really good card. Not gonna lie, he's actually a very, very good player. I have no complaints about him whatsoever. Two centre backs we go for are both Dutch. Or, I'm oh, sorry, on the left hand side we go for um, Daily Blind, and on the right hand side we go for. Um, Douglas, we'll start off with Douglas, 62 pace, 72 defending and 82 physical, 6 foot 4, medium high work rates, uh, played 11 games of him in total, got himself 2 goals, both in this team and both towering headers from corners, being 6 foot 4, I'd expect nothing less from that man. Other centre back we go for is Daily Blind, 61 pace, 17, pardon me, sorry about that, 61 pace, 76 um, dribbling, 77 passing, 81 defending and 76 physical, 5 foot 11, high high work rates, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves. Um, very attacking slash defensive with that high high work rate. It's probably not the best centre back. Would say CDM, but he actually plays really well. Really, really don't um really do enjoy him. Don't have any problems with him whatsoever. Left mid and right mid are both Venezuelans. We go for De Valle, I think is how you pronounce that one. On the left, on the uh, yeah on the left and Anor, I think is what you'd pronounce that on the right. Uh, so Juan Pablo Anor, I think is the pronunciation of his name. 71 pace, 79 dribbling, 73 to shooting and 74 passing, 5 foot 7 medium meter work rates, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves, 2 games, uh, sorry, two goals and 2 assists in the 5 games we did play. I really, really liked him, he's got a, he's got a belt in free kick on him, I can't, can't deny him that. If he had a bit more pace, I think he'd be extremely usable, but with 71, probably better as a sentiment than a wide man. Uh, Jonathan Del Valle, uh, 87 pace, 80 dribbling, 73 shooting, 5 for 8, higher medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 3 star scores, no contributions to goals. The reason being is because my left back went walkabouts and he was covering left back so you know I just didn't get any use out of this guy whatsoever so it's a bit disappointing for me but um you know, that's just what happens. What am I doing? I'm going to go for all the wrong nationalities. I'm going to go to Spain. Two centimetres we go for. On the right hand side, we go for the Inform Fornales. And on the left hand side, we go for um, Ander Herrera from Manchester United. His upgraded 82, uh, sorry, 83 rated card. 72 pace, 84 defending, 72 shooting, 70 defending, 81 passing, and 74 physical. Six foot tall, high high work rates. Four star weak foot and four star skill moves. Got himself one goal and two assists in a total of 10 games. Really, really like Ander Herrera. I think he's a great, great player real life and fifa um and then we've got pablo for for Niles, i think that's how you pronounce his name it comes out of the packs as a cdm much suited to center mid role in my opinion 65 pace not the best but 76 the dribbling 71 shooting 70 defending and 80 passing five foot ten medium medium work rates a three star weak foot and two star skill moves and you can see that 80 passing really did come into effect with his four assists he did get uh, in the total of i think six was it six games i played five games so you know i really 
have no complaints about that guy. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. Centre forward, we go for the hero, uh, David Villa. Obviously got himself an 86 rated in form, but I've got this guy in my club. I love the card design, so I went for him. 75 pace, 86 dribbling, 89 shooting, 76 passing and 72 physical. 5 foot 9, high low work rates, 5 star weak foot, 4 star scoring. 18 games with him, 17 goals and 10 assists, which is a fantastic record, considering the fact that a lot of those games, I'd say maybe... Three or four, maybe five, are coming off the bench in the weekend league. So, and I don't think he even really contributes to anything there. But it's a great midfield, a great centre forward, and you know the striker just makes it all better. Links the whole team together, and we have got the 81 rated in form Josef Alexander Martin. This is second in form. He got his obviously silver when he was playing for Torino, and now he's got his gold 81 playing for Atlanta United. 93 pace, 87 dribbling, 82 shooting, uh, 74 passing, and 81 physical. Five foot eight, medium medium work rates, three star weak foot, and three star skill rates. Eight games, uh, sorry, eight goals and one assist in the five games I did play, and he cost me 14.75k. So he's nice and cheap because he's a um, you know his nationality is not good whatsoever being Venezuelan. He's not in the most desired league, and he's definitely not one of the most desired teams in the MLS at Atlanta United because they've only just released some of their transfers. So he, you know, he's very very cheap if you can fit him into a team like I did. You know, it's quite a nice team that I did manage to fit him into. But he's a great great player. He's got a great bit of pace on him. Great turn of pace as well. He'll turn a player and he's gone. And you know, not many centre backs are going to catch him. And this whole team in general just played absolutely fantastically. But as always, guys, that is the end of the video. That's the end of me talking, really. That's the end of me. You having to listen to me drivel on. You can now get to sit and watch the goals I did score with a nice bit of music playing over them. Uh, as always, put some links down in the description below to my Twitter and Instagram. Go down there, drop me a follow, drop a like on this video, drop a sub. I've just hit 50. I'm recording this on Sunday evening. I have hit 50 subscribers. So thank you all so so much for your support 100 is on its way i want to hit 100 come on guys i know we can do it i know we can absolutely smash that subscribe if you're new around here and until next time guys i shall see you all later bye Just run away